up, guys? Um, I'm just reliving my cube. It's freaking amazing right now. This Rubik's cube that I've worn in. Um, wow, it feels so godly. I mean, I don't know what happened. I just fell in love with it. I actually think I like it more than my do-it-yourself cube now. But I'm pretty sure that's just in the head. But it's definitely earned its tiles. Um, same with the contest cube. Let's back here a little bit. The contest cube. But contest cube is awesome. I'm gonna be using this cube in the video. But um I'm talking to someone on the internet right now and I've also had emails and um, requests on this video. Um how do I know what OLL to use and what do the arrows mean on the OLLs and the PLLs? Which well, is kind of kind of confusing. I, I realized myself also like that I had that same problem. I thought, um, I was like, what the hell are these things? You know, how the hell am I gonna memorize them? <clears throat> when do I know when to use them? Stuff like that. And then I finally realized what the arrows mean, and then I got it. And now I've been learning. I'm gonna show you the ones that I've been learning. And uh, I got a new personal best. It's 21:35. Let me let me get the conversation. I was actually cubing with um, cubing with someone online, and. Uh, we were practicing online. Oh, it's not there. Anyway, it was like 21:35. This is my new personal best. So that was pretty cool because I ran into um, a permutation that I just—I mean, an, uh, an orientation that I just just learned. And um, I think it was number six on QWiz. Anyway, I ran into that, and then the permutation was actually really easy too, so I got a new personal best of 285. That's not the point, I'm rambling. Um, okay, I'm going to show you how to recognize OLLs and PLLs now. So here we go. Okay, correction, now that I'm looking at the site, it was actually um, orientation number four on keywords.com, which is this one. And um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to read them. If you look at this diagram here, if you look at this diagram, where is it right there? You'll see that they have um, these two missing. That's pretty much common sense on how to read the OLL. Um, if you look at the site or look at that diagram there, they um, they show that these last two are the ones that need to be flipped, and then they have an algorithm that they tell you online on how to flip them. So let me get into that. something similar to that and then um, but this isn't the right one this is a different one okay we'll just use this one for example so take this diagram number five and then you'll notice that there is a yellow on the top and a yellow on the bottom those are the last two that need to be moved don't worry about these colors because you're not gonna you're not worried about where they are gonna go yet so what you do is you follow the diagram put the yellows like that and then you do your algorithm, so it'll be L I U I L U R U I R I F and then I don't know why most sites don't include the last little turn but that one was an M and then you got yourself your orientation and your last letter so pretty much how to read those, you just follow where those little yellow pieces are and the blank spots on top and you just move your cube and match it to the picture that you see like this as if you were looking at the screen and then you do the algorithm that tells you that's OLLs. PLLs. <clears throat> okay so PLLs. Say you ran into this regular U perm I guess is what they call it and it's just um, like this. Um, on the keyboard site, it's actually number six, and I'm going to tell you how to recognize it. Um, let's see here. Okay, so the arrows that you see on the, in the diagram, they show an arrow going this way, an arrow going this way, and an arrow going this way. What it's just telling you is that this edge piece is going to go here to the right in the red. This, so that's that arrow. 
this orange piece is gonna go left to the orange that's that left arrow and this blue piece is gonna go to the right I mean down here that's that arrow so you just follow the, the arrows the arrows mean where the edges or the cor corners or anything are gonna go to so this one would be R U I R U R U R U I R I U I R2 oops and um there you go you got yourself cross I mean yourself cube so recognizing permutations of the last letter is pretty easy like this one is this one okay see how the arrows are saying from top to bottom and left to right it's pretty much saying that your top and bottom edges are backwards green blue blue green and that your left and right are backwards too red orange orange red so what you do is you just go ahead and do the algorithm that tells you m2 u m2 u2 m2 u m2 and that's it that's pretty much how you read pll's so it's pretty simple and um hopefully that'll get you started on ols and pll's because i got started on them and now i'm hooked i've been learning on each one in like like literally like two seconds each i'll like do the move a couple times and then I, it's learned it's in my head so i'm gonna start learning them more than i should more than yeah more than ever so guys ols pll's have a good one with that one I mean, it's not too hard to recognize what you have to do. The arrows pretty much tell you what edges are misplaced, like this one. Oops. This one is pretty much, these two are flipped and these two are flipped. It's case four on CubeWiz, but I don't use that one. I use a different one. And um, the diagram would be like this, left and right. And um, there's an algorithm for that. Oops. And then that's what you just go by to do the PLS. So have a good one. I hope this helps. And um, that's about it.